Hi, hey, what's up my construction entrepreneurs? Hey, this one here, uh, I'm going to touch on uh, how do I find work? Where do I find work? Um, <clears throat> it's a question by uh, one of the followers. Um, I, I think, yeah, how do I find work? So, um, I find work, and this is, um, this is, th Quite a bit of a, you know, it'd be an interesting answer uh, because, you know, I think we're we're all in different sectors of work, right? Uh, like my boy, my boy Joe, uh, with all excess construction, he's in, uh, you know, the retaining wall, residential side of things, and he has that marketing thing figured out, man, and and he gets, you know, he gets nonstop work coming in from word of mouth marketing. And uh, his social media presence, uh, presence, you know, so he has that part figured out, and that's great if you got that right. But you know, then there's other, 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 other people out there, other contractors out there that may get only word of mouth. And I, I don't know how busy you stay with only word of mouth. You guys can leave some comments. Let me know if you've been surviving off word of mouth. You know, uh, you know, five, ten, fifteen years. Uh, making decent money, right? Uh, uh, I think you can live off word of mouth making uh, money for yourself, but you know, can you live off word of mouth? Uh, you know, uh, making, you know, supplying employees, paying employees, and multiple jobs like that. You know, like you, you guys, let me know someone out there that may uh, be experiencing that. Experiencing that. So you got people living off word of mouth. Got other folks that uh, get work off of. I wonder, if everyone. I wonder, if, do we still get work off of Craigslist? Years ago, when I first started out, I was bidding on work off of Craigslist. Uh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I used to bid off of work off of Craigslist, and uh, and then it's just you know you know meet homeowners in uh, in Home Depot or Lowe's. Oh, hold on there, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. That was my office girl wanting to know if she can work from home for the rest of the day. She has some personal stuff. So, yeah, she, she it's, it's all good. Um, okay, so, yeah, so you got word of mouth. You got um, contractors that uh, get, you know, I don't know if they're still doing it off of Craigslist or where, where you find it. Or sometimes you're paying for this home advisor thing too, right? I mean, I've done videos on that, man, how that stuff is highway robbery and a lot of water down leads, right? Um, and then you got, uh, then you got sites that you pay for work on to land commercial work, right? And then you got sites that, uh, that I'm on where if you're a general contractor, you focus on those sites to land uh, work with the owner, the client, right? And I'm talking about clients that own like, you know, like corporation that owns like the Jamba Juices or 24 Hour Fitness or, you know, or, or want to build a commercial uh, uh, commercial um, complex, you know, a shopping center or something like that, you know. Uh, and then you got the websites that advertise public works and commercial work. And I'm on those as well. So for me, I find my work on... Uh, I go through two websites. I go through two of them. I think it's Insight with Construct Connect, and currently I'm on Dodge Report. So I go between Construct Connect, Insight, and Dodge Report, and those cost me I want to say thirteen to fifteen hundred a year between those websites. So I'm on the Dodge Report right now, uh, and basically the Dodge Report. I want to break down these these different. Um, lead generating websites and what they offer, okay? Uh, so Dodge Report is where commercial owners will plug in their job sites and general contractors will find these, these owners and, uh, and bid on this work, okay? Um, so I will see jobs there. I will also find jobs that general contractors are posting after they have been awarded from this said owner, okay? Um, and I'll find those jobs on there too. Now, mind you, I bid as a subcontractor. Right now, I don't bid on work as a general contractor. I can, 
uh, but I just choose not to at this time. I mostly bid on work as subcontractors and uh, as a subcontractor and I focus on a lot of structural concrete and then site concrete, okay? So on the Dodge report is where, you know, most likely general contractors and subcontractors will, uh, will flourish, okay? Now you got these other sites like the uh, Blue Book, uh, Bitmail, um, uh, Building Connected, right? Um, um, and probably whatever other sites are out there advertising that they they have uh, jobs that you can go for and you can bid on. Now, mind you, a lot of those jobs are for the subcontractor. A lot of those sites are general contractors uh, looking for subcontractors. And this is the trick with that is that just because the general contractor has posted that job looking for subcontractors on that particular platform doesn't mean that that general contractor uh, uh, has has been awarded that project. So where these sites limit you at with it as being a, as being a subcontractor on it um, is that you only see the general contractor that's posting that job. There may be nine other general contractors that's bidding on that job along with that general contractor that has posted that job on that platform. And why is that important is because once you do your bid, once you do your bid, you want your number to go to every single general contractor that's bidding on that job and not just that one. And that's the problem. A lot of these sites only show the general contractor that's looking for the subcontractors, but like the Dodge Report and the Insight for Construct Connect, they show all the general contractors uh, that's bidding on it and all the subcontractors that's bidding on it. So you, I get to see what competitors are mine that I'll be bidding against most of the time and every general contractor that's bidding on the job. Okay, and I get to, you know, make sure I get, I'm, and of course you gotta vet through all this, right? You can't just send numbers out to everyone, you know? I have, an, uh, I have, I have staff, uh, uh, my girl in the office will call these general contractors and says, hey, are you bidding this job? And they'll say, hey, yeah, or no, we pulled out. Uh, even though their name is still listed there, okay? So, so, and that, this is the, this is the key, so it's, Knowing, because picking the right project to bid on and only submitting a bid to one general contractor when that project does not has not been awarded to only that general contractor is crazy. Do not waste your time like that. Okay. If that and then all you and and to find out, listen. A lot of times it's this. So let's say um, I'll get a job from. Uh, Lazardi construction, right? Lazardi does, uh, they do concrete and they do uh, CM work, right? Construction management work, right? Well, they'll, they'll send me a job uh, and I try to get in with them and do work with them. Uh, they'll send me a job and they say, hey, so is this uh, a commercial plaza, right? And they're looking to up, they're looking to do some work inside the building, some structural concrete work where they're uh, adding some uh, pillars and, and things like that inside the building. And because they're working inside the building, now they have to do work on outside the building too as well, right? So they'll send me over these plans and I will ask them in the email or through the phone call when they call and ask me, hey, can you bid on this project? I'll ask them, is it, have you been awarded this project? Or I'll send an email, have you been awarded this project? They'll say no. So how do I find if it's not listed on the Dodge report, I don't see it on Bitmail, Construct Connect, and all these other websites that I have that I, mind you, only pay for Dodge report. I don't pay for these other sites, but I have access to them because over the years, everyone has selected me as a contractor to send work to, uh, proposal, just you know, request for a proposal work to. And if I don't see it anywhere, that means it's not publicly, out to bid on any of the platforms that I have access to. So how I find who's bidding on a project, and this is important because a lot of us run into this, 
a nice project and you, you ask that general contractor that's asking you to bid on it, is it yours? And they say no. Well, they're not going to give you the list of contractors that's bidding on it. Okay? You can ask them, hey, man, well, give me a list of your competitors that's bidding against you on this project. Yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. Okay, Tyrone? So, so what you do is you look at the plans and you have the architect there. You, you, you look up the architect's uh, website and you get an email address or you call and you send them an email or you call and you ask them, hey, can you send me a list of the general contractors that you have invited to this project? You or the client have invited to this to bid on this project. I am a subcontractor that does such and such trade. We're looking to bid on this project and turn our number into every general contractor that's bidding on it. And that's how you get a list of general contractors that's bidding on this project. Because you want to maximize your number. And that's how you do that. Now, I how I get ma majority of my work is one, I look for work that's already belong to contractors. What does that mean? Uh, well, like I, like I said before, um, I'm looking for work that belongs to the general contract. They have already been awarded for it or a lot of these general contractors um, are not in position to hard bid projects, right? So what does that mean? That means that if they were to only land work by hard bidding, how I do every day, I'm going out bidding on work, they would not be able to survive because their overhead cost is just too much. So they have to send their sales reps out there to land these projects and offer these benefits to these clients so they can have these jobs. And then they send it out to a handful of subs to bid on it. And those are the general contractors that I like to focus on. Those are the Erickson Halls, the Bernards, the Belfer Beatties. Um, uh, who else is out there? Uh, sometimes PCN, not PCN3. PCW, I believe it is, PCW, Swinderton. Um, um, these contract, these large contractors will land their own jobs. And what they do is they send out their bids to these uh, subcontractors uh, that's in their pool. And what that does for us as subcontractors is that one, uh, 99, maybe 93% of the time you're bidding against qualified contractors. So you're not dealing with that, uh, those low ball numbers, right? You're dealing with quality contractors that they have selected to send, to, to send this bid to and ask for a number. So you're dealing with qualified. And then another thing is you're dealing with a lower count of contractors that you're bidding against, right? So that's what I like. I like that you're bidding against a lower count of contractors and a better quality of numbers. And that's my goal. So first, I look for those contractors. Uh, W.E. O'Neill, they get their own jobs, right? Uh, but they don't have a lot of prevailing wage jobs, but they get their own work. You know, so a lot of these general contractors land their own work, and that's where you want to start at, uh, because less competition, more qualified bids. Uh, next, after that, I'll go to the dogfight. Uh, I'll look at projects that I, I'll spend more time researching a project to see if it's qualified for me to bid on than I do spitting out numbers. Okay, I look for a particular project, and that's why I select it. Then I, I have my staff find out who's bidding on it. Uh, and then uh, I'll start working on the documentation, specs, uh, and what, whatever else they need. Insurance requirements, I'll look at all that before I uh, make the final decision to fully bid on that job. Um, and then once I put in my uh, on my bid list, then it's, 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 it's a done dollar. I'll produce a bid, and then we'll be sending it out to everyone. Okay? So... Uh, that's how I find work. I added some more details to that. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, hopefully I was clear in that. If you guys got any questions or anything else, let me know. Just hit me up.